welcome to prayer during the day on Monday the 18th of May. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with Christ. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. Psalm 65 Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. To you that answer prayer shall vows be paid. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. We shall be satisfied with the blessings of your house, even of your holy temple. With wonders you will answer us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. In your strength you set fast the mountains and are girded about with might. You still the raging of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the clamour of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth tremble at your marvels. The gates of the morning and evening sing your praise. You visit the earth and water it. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare grain for your people, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. You soften the ground with showers and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty. May the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness and the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be clothed with flocks of sheep and the valleys stand so thick with corn that they shall laugh and sing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading today is from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. Jesus said, But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the other cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return. 
your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now a short reflection on that passage. In 1876, the logbook of the British school in Crickhowl, a lovely small town in South East Wales, recorded that two girls, Rachel Prosser and Bessie Morgan, have completed their samplers and six others have just begun to work a sampler each. The making of embroidered samplers was considered a fit and proper activity for young girls in the Victorian age because it was believed that needlework skills would come in useful in their potential future employment. Often those samplers had biblical verses as their main feature. So it is not difficult to imagine that as the girls laboured painstakingly over their needlework, the biblical text would be unconsciously absorbed as well. The more specific the exhortation, the more effective it might be. Times have changed but the desire to encapsulate moral exhortation is still part of our culture. Now, however, pithy sayings are to be found not on samplers, but on social media posts, offering one-liner statements from famous people about, for example, the moral qualities required in leadership. Why do we need such simplifications? Because in a pressured, hectic age when we are faced with difficult moral decisions, we need to be able to latch on to a simple and memorable phrase to guide us. It's a way of instantly recalibrating our moral compasses. Is there any more effective moral advice than do to others as you would have them do to you? Come now to our prayers. For the unity of the Church in witness and proclamation of the Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the peace and stability of all peoples, and for the leaders of the nations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For places of health and education, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends, and all whom we love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, among them Francis Sherwood, Alan Hutchinson, Nigel East, Joe Marlowe Barham, Brian Parkin, Lynn Newmarch, Anne Robertson, and all who minister to their needs. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, among them Ian Milner, Bridget Griffiths, Don Pusey, and Jean Holdway, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to you and all ages. To you be glory and power through every age and for ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Amen.